So, what happens next in uh, the sutra? Remember, uh, the opening of the sutra is the Buddha in Shravasti, uh, dwelling with uh, a large number of monks and bodhisattvas. He robes himself in the morning, begs his food, returns, uh, eats his food, uh, washes his feet, and sits, sitting up uh, mindfulness, uh, sits in meditation, perhaps, uh, sits in full awareness, and the next thing that happens is that Sabuti comes along to that assembly. He sits down. He sits down among those uh, people around the Buddha. And then he stands up. He places his upper robe over one shoulder out of respect. Respect uh, goes down on his right knee and bends forth his foldy ha folded hands, foldy hands, folded hands. Uh, very respectful. So, I want to say a little bit about Sabuti. Sabuti is very important in the Pragnaparamita literature. He's the principal interlocutor, I think the word is. He's the, the main person in dialogue with the Buddha. There are others in the perfection of wisdom literature, but principally it's Sabuti who has the conversations with the Buddha. And in the Diamond Sutra, of course, it's solely Sabuti. And it's very interesting that Sabut is mentioned uh, as the Arhat, the disciple who has these conversations, these dialogues with the Buddha. He's not actually that well known in Pali literature. I think he's mentioned in one sutta or in a couple of suttas, but not in a great deal of detail. Um, but what's interesting in the Mahayana, in the perfection of wisdom, he really comes to the fore. Uh, it's a whole interesting topic in itself, how... Uh, different arhats uh, from uh, the early days of Buddhism become uh, very popular in the Mahayana. Uh, maybe the reason that, that Sabuti comes to the fore is to do with the old tradition, the old Pali tradition, that Sabuti gained arhatship uh, from being absorbed in metta, in loving kindness. He, his main practice was metta bhavna or metta jhana, metta maitri dhyana, He'd uh, attain absorption through metta, through developing loving kindness to all beings. And it was out of that that he gained enlightenment, which is a very interesting detail because you do hear some people saying that, you know, metta bhavna, can't, you can't go the, all the way with it. Um, but this is another example how in early Buddhism that metta itself is a path to enlightenment. And I think. Uh, you know, in the modern world, I think uh, that is a very significant detail. My impression is that uh, most people need to do a lot of metta, need to develop a lot of friendliness if they're going to make any progress. Um, it's also said that when he went on his begging round, Sabuti, he would make it a practice to become absorbed in metta when he was receiving his food from the people uh, giving it to him. He'd, he'd attain he just naturally go into the absorption of loving kindness, and of course, this, it said this had a great effect on the people uh, giving him food. So it's a very lovely, very positive uh, image that you, that you have of Sabuti. So perhaps it's for these sorts of reasons that he becomes very important in the perfection of wisdom, because the perfection of wisdom literature deals with the bodhisattva's path, and the bodhisattva is, of course, a being characterised by loving kindness. Sabuti's name means well-developed, uh, simply. The well-developed disciple, full of friendliness, respectful, receptive, but inquiring and questioning as well, and able to enter into dialogue with the Buddha, uh, to go deeper with the Buddha, to draw the Buddha out, and to explore the depth of the Dharma, uh, to draw out the depths and the extent of the Buddha's teaching. And you get the impression of a respectful, positive, intelligent uh, person, Sabuti, and not at all submissive, although receptive. He is really the ideal disciple, the ideal student. So it sort of continues the theme that uh, you know, we looked at yesterday in terms of our, our approach to the teaching, our approach, approach to the Diamond Sutra. We're seeing that now embodied in the figure of Sabuti. Uh, the, the ideal dialoguer uh, with, the, with the Buddha.